Hi, Els here. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to do some examples with regards to non-monetary exchanges. We've got question one up on the screen. Remember that this question is posted below the video in the description and you can download it before I walk through this question. To improve your learning, you might want to try and solve that question before you watch me do it. Question one, Green Corporation exchanges equipment with Blue Corporation. Green Corporation also paid $4,500 in cash. So in addition to giving up their capital asset, they also paid cash. Below are the remaining details of the exchange. So we've got information about Green Corporation and Blue Corporation, the two pieces of equipment that they exchanged. Historical cost, accumulated depreciation to date, and the fair value. And by the way, the accumulated depreciation is up until the date of the exchange. And then the fair value of the equipment. A. Prepare the journal entries required to record the exchange for both companies, assuming the exchange has commercial substance. Let's start with Green Corporation. First, what did Green give up? The total amount they gave up to get the new equipment would include the fair value of the old equipment and the cash paid. We're going to use fair value because this exchange is with commercial substance. Notice that the exchange is at fair value of the old equipment and the cash paid. The cash paid is added because it's part of what the company had to give up in order to get the new equipment. Let's calculate it. Green Corp has given up the fair value of the old equipment. That's 37500 It's the fair value of the asset given up, which is determinable, so it must be used. We've got to add in the cash paid. This has to be added in because it is part of what the company had to give up in order to get the new equipment. In other words, they gave up not only their equipment, but also some of their cash. The cost of the new equipment is therefore $42,000. What do we have to do next? A fair value check. When an asset is acquired, it can't be recognized at more than the fair value of the asset received. So we're calculating the fair value of the asset given up, and that's what we're going to use in order to record the fair value of the asset received. However, this asset has its own fair value. When an asset is acquired, it can't be recognized at more than its own fair value, the fair value of the asset received. Therefore, when an exchange is recorded, there must be a fair value check, and it has to be completed every single time. We compare the fair value of the equipment given up, which we just calculated as 42000 and we compare it to the fair value of the equipment received, which we take from our chart as 42000 These amounts are equal, so a fair value adjustment is not required. We can therefore do the entry. We record the new equipment at the fair value given up. We get rid of the old accumulated depreciation that relates to the old equipment. That was given in the chart. Don't forget we have to get rid of the old equipment also. Then recognize the cash we paid. This entry does not balance. In fact I have a gain on disposal. Is there any other way we can calculate the gain? And the answer is yes. I can calculate it as a plug whatever is necessary to make this entry balance, but I can also mathematically calculate it. I take the fair value of the old equipment. That's 37,500. How did I get that? That's equal to 37,500. Now I need the carrying value of the old equipment. That's calculated as the original cost, 75,000, less the accumulated depreciation, 46,875. Do the math. Note, however, that I don't actually have to calculate this. I can just go back to the entry and plug this number right here. Let's now imagine that we work for Blue Corporation and we have to record the non-monetary exchange. First, calculate what they gave up. They gave up the fair value of the old equipment. Notice again that because this exchange had commercial substance, we have to use the fair values and not the carrying values in order to calculate what has been given up. I'm just adding gave up. All right, next we take the cash received and we deduct it. Why do we deduct the cash received? We have to deduct the cash since the company no longer gave up $42,000 because they were paid for a portion of what they gave up. 
So they gave up less than $42,000. They actually gave up $37,500. And that is the fair value of the new equipment. What do we have to do next? A fair value check. First, we take the fair value of the equipment given up. We've just calculated that as 37500 exactly the same as our calculation. Now we compare it to the fair value of the equipment received. That's equal to 37500 These are equal, so there is no fair value adjustment required. We can therefore do the entry. First, we record the new equipment that we received at the fair value of the equipment that we gave up. Then we have to recognize the cash we received, 4500 Next, we have to get rid of the old equipment, so let's get rid of the accumulated depreciation. That's from the chart. Now we have to get rid of the old equipment. That was 82500 directly from the chart. Do these entries equal the debit and the credit? And the answer is no. We actually are short on our debit side $7,500. That's a loss on disposal. Again, we can calculate this as a plug, but we can also do the calculation mathematically. In order to calculate the loss, I need to take the fair value given up. Wait a minute. Why am I writing down 42000 when we know that the fair value that we actually recorded in this entry is 37500 That's because the fair value of what I gave up is equal to the fair value of the equipment as I recorded it, 37500 plus the cash I received. That equals $42,000. That's what I gave up. Now I have to compare it to the carrying value of the old equipment. That would equal 49500 How did I calculate that? The original cost less the accumulated depreciation. That's equal to a carrying value of 49500 Compare the two and it will calculate the loss on disposal, 7500 So here we see the entry that Blue Corporation would have to make in order to record the exchange. Notice that Blue Corporation records a loss on disposal. Both corporations do not have to make the exact same entry. One corporation will not know the information such as the accumulated depreciation and the original cost of the equipment. Each corporation will make their own entry based on the information that is available to them. This is Blue Corporation's entry. And this is Green Corporation's entry. Notice Green Corporation records a gain on disposal. We'll move on to exchanges without commercial substance in our next video.